In this video, I will teach you how to do a fresh installation of your WordPress software to build your WordPress website. First step is for you to log into your cPanel. When you log into your cPanel, at the very top, you will find this option that says Software Colors Apps Installer. On your own cPanel, it might appear differently. The cPanel I'm presently using is a shared hosting under Namecheap cPanel. Simply hit on Software Colors Apps Installer. You are going to find several web builders on this page. We are interested in the first one that says WordPress. Hit on Install. When you get to this page, ensure that this option is on HTTPS and change the domain name to this one. This is the very domain name that we want to install because this is a shared hosting. The default one you saw at the top was the initial domain name meant for this hosting. But we added another subdomain because we didn't want to spend another money on hosting. This shared hosting can take up to three websites. It has automatically indicated that those will be an installation URL. Here it will ask for the site name, the site description, the admin username and the password. I am going to pause this video right now, fill all of these details and I don't like all these buttons, I usually uncheck them. I scroll to the bottom, impute my email address here as a backup and hit on this option that says installed and everything will be automatically installed for you. I'll pause this video now and fill these details. Kindly ignore this error that says trusted SSL was not found. This is because I recently installed my SSL's SSL and I was supposed to wait for up to 30 minutes but I've not even waited for up to 10 minutes and I'm already doing this installation. It will automatically correct itself. So we'll go ahead. This email address, the admin email address, I haven't created it. And in another video, I will show how to create your admin email address, your professional email address on your cPanel. I have filled in my details on the spaces provided and I'll go ahead and hit on install and my installation will begin immediately. My installation was successful and this is my URL to log into the back end for my website and I will start building. Simply click on it and it might log in automatically. There is an SSL warning I already told you ahead of time. That you shouldn't bother yourself within the next 20 minutes or 30 minutes this error will have cleared up but if you want to bypass it all you need to do is click on this option that says advanced and come to this button that says proceed to kimberlite if this video helped you guys so don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share in the next video i will teach you how to create a professional email address with the same domain. Thank you.